$70,000 Super Spin to Win giveaway. Watch to win. Weeknights at 6.30 on Channel 4's Wheel of Fortune. Watch to win. If there isn't a cash winner one night, we add $1,000 to the next night's grand total. Watch to win. So start winning. Watch to win. During America's favorite game show. Watch to win. It's your chance to win cash on the Wheel of Fortune. Weeknights at 6.30 on Channel 4. Watch to win. WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. This woman has not had her hair cut in 13 years. This afternoon on Pia Magazine, we'll watch Eileen Jansen from Wisconsin undergo a beauty makeover by experts from Mademoiselle Magazine. Then, while it might look like you need a tuxedo for this party, you really don't. Join PM star Loretta Swit at San Diego's Penguin Encounter. And we're off to the races, the Reno Air Races, where you need the right stuff to be a winner. This is the Minneapolis Grain Exchange, where as you can both see and hear, activity down there in the trading pit is fast and furious. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Doyle. And I'm Pat Brown. Well, it all began with this letter and picture that we received from a viewer in Wisconsin. Eileen Jansen had not had a haircut in 13 years, and as you can see, her hair reached below her knees. Time had come for a major makeover, and she asked us to help her. Rarely do you have a chance to see such a dramatic change. So we asked some beauty experts from New York's Mademoiselle magazine to help us help Eileen. Here's what happened. When I first started thinking about getting my hair cut, I, had, I wanted to get my hair cut when I was 30 because of the fact that I think that when a uh, woman gets a little older, they look better in a shorter hairstyle. And I guess that's why I want to get my hair cut because I am almost 30. The mother of two young girls, Eileen Jansen, drove from her farm home in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin, to Edina, Minnesota recently to make the big cut in a big way. Obviously, with tresses falling 45 inches and growing for well over a decade, the haircut would be the focus of Eileen's makeover. But wardrobe was important, too. What do you think of that? Well, that looks really nice. I think that's real attractive. Yeah. Even with your black pants. Yeah. Once a nice outfit for her job as a quality control inspector had been chosen, it was time for the matter at hand, cutting that long golden brown hair. How difficult would that be for Eileen? I thought about that last night when I was washing it for the very last time, if I was attached to my hair. Um, I thought, well, it's very nice and it looks really nice, but um, I guess no, I, well, yeah. I don't really know if I am or not. I guess maybe I'll find that out when I get a cut, if I was really attached to my hair or not. And then it might be too late, right? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Bob. I'm Eileen Jansen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Flown in from New York City, hairstylist Bob Spezzicatina with Mademoiselle Magazine held the fate of Eileen's hair. You're so used to having your hair laying on your back. I think now it should be moving. Hair should always be moving. To preserve her tresses in a form she could use again, Bob first intertwined them into a beautiful braid nearly three feet long. Then came the big moment. Okay, Eileen, this is it. Are you ready? Take one last look. Oh, no. Are you nervous? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to look wonderful. Is it? Mm-hmm, I assure you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I'll hang on tight. <laughs> it fell off. <laughs> there it is. Well, at least you got a hairpiece. <laughs> yeah, right. From one memory to another, the most difficult part of Eileen's makeover had been completed. Now, it was on with the show.
Huh? Nice sort of. Now, the next transition, the makeup. Linda Peterson, regional training executive for Estee Lauder, worked with Eileen on makeup. Their goal? To achieve a soft, subtle look to suit Eileen's lifestyle in small town Wisconsin. To look in the mirror sure. and see what you think. <laughs> My husband won't recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> the new you. And with her new outfit to complete the look, it really was a new Eileen that emerged from the dressing room. I think my life will be a lot more convenient as far as easy to work with and um, not having to get up so early in the morning and work with it. I think it'll be a lot more easier. No, I don't think it's changed the inside. I think uh, the inside is still the same old bubbly me. <laughs> well, we checked with Eileen to see what her family's reaction was to her new look when she got home. And she said everyone liked it, except for her two-year-old daughter, Trisha, who uh, didn't even recognize it.